Okay, there are several ways to charge your Audi e-tron GT. If you buy one, you get one of these for your house. This is a wall box similar to what they have in SM Mega Mall. You push this thing in, then you just plug this straight into there. When it goes in, it will turn white, which means it's talking. Then it will turn green and that means it's charging. If you have this in your house and your house is single phase, you will get around 7.4 kilowatts. If this is put in a building or a factory that has three phase power, then you will get upwards of 20 kilowatts. When you're done, you push this back, wait till it turns white, you take it out, you close this because you don't want that hitting anybody else. You do the Audi e-tron spin and you put it back. That's what you get if you bring this home. If you get an Audi e-tron GT or any Audi e-tron from the proper seller, you will get a charger for your home, the wall box, and you will also get this. This is a, I guess you would call it a mobile travel charger, which you can plug into your house or more probably, let's say a restaurant or hotel you stop at because it will go into any properly grounded plug. One thing to note if you do get this car is that opening the hood, you push this thing. If you push this, it opens up your washer fluid and you don't want that. Okay, this is the fast charger option if you are traveling and mainly if you are traveling. This is what we used in Europe with Ionity. You would come up here, you would tap your charge card and you would take it out and this would give you upwards of 170 kilowatts which will charge your car like in around 30 minutes. But this is not meant for regular use. This is meant for people who are traveling. Regular use should still be your home charger. Those are the three ways we have shown you on how to charge your Audi e-tron GT.